guys welcome back to another video i am back at my desk i've got my new little boss lady sign which i just love and i'm ready to do another video for you guys so let's just jump right in i have to be honest i have been trying to rock the natural locks for a few weeks now and i am struggling my hair has been looking ratchet crusty sideways everything guys i'm not a beauty guru i do not pretend to be a beauty beauty guru i barely know anything about beauty so i don't know everything i know about beauty from my sisters from youtube and just generally faking it till i make it so when i tried to do this whole natural thing for a few months i don't know what i was thinking and guys it has been a struggle um i decided to take some weave that i don't use anymore it's some leftover weave that i've had but it's still really good hair definitely could wear it again um, and I decided to make my own clip-ins. I have been watching YouTube videos all morning, trying to figure out how to do this. And again, this is not a tutorial. I'm just taking you through the process of me trying to do this because I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's just get right to it. I got up and I went to the beauty supply this morning and I picked up a, cool, a couple tools that I'm going to need. And I hit up my sister who is a licensed cosmetologist and got her feedback before I got started. So today I'm just using some older weed that I've used for sew-ins before. It's still good hair. Like it's still really good hair. I've only used it for one or maybe two sew-ins in the past so it's really quality hair still the only thing is this hair was already cut up so i thought it would be perfect for my clip-in since it's already kind of cut into different sizes already so as you can see i have my hair right here and i have spread my hair out into and i have organized and divided my hair into long pieces and short pieces because you know you're going to want some longer pieces to go along the back of your head you're going to want some shorter pieces along the side of your head towards the front um, and it just gives you more options when it comes to styling your hair and kind of covering up your tracks with your natural hair in my opinion so like i said i went to the beauty supply this morning i picked up two packs of the wig clips uh, that you can sew in to your extensions um so i picked up two packs of those there's 12 in a pack i use the large ones i looked at the small ones and they just looked like they would fall out of my head so like i said i have no idea what i'm doing so i'm just taking you guys along on the ride with me um so i just picked out the large ones i thought these would work the best for me i also have um a little curved needle i already had this uh, i picked this up for touching up my own tracks when i do have a sew-in so just a little curved needle really big uh with a larger hole for your weave thread and then of course i have my brown little uh bundle here of weaving thread um and i have some scissors to help me cut so like i said the first thing you're going to want to do is separate all of your hair um, into the extension size that you wanted. So kind of how I went about doing this um, is just kind of grabbing an extension piece and literally just kind of putting it on my head and looking in the mirror and seeing like exactly how I would place it on my head. Some pieces are a little bit longer where they'll fit more along the back and then obviously some pieces are like a lot shorter where they'll just you know belong closer to the front or something like that so the first things first is i kind of want to double up on my wefts and what i mean by double up on my wefts is so literally so two tracks together and how you do this is you just literally grab two pieces of similar length or cut similar length weave tracks and just sew them together on the top it produces like a much fuller track and extension when putting it in and saves you from looking like you have very thin and very noticeable extensions so i'm gonna go ahead and i did a couple of them already doubling up my wefts so i'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of them and then i should have about 10 extension pieces to work with so i'm gonna speed this up and we're gonna sew these tracks together
god you guys okay so remember when i told you that i sucked at all beauty things literally that took me like three hours and like 25 youtube videos later i finally finished like step one of this whole thing so as you can see what i have done is i've taken my track like this and this is the only one i haven't done yet you guys and i took my little wig clip and i just sewed them on the back of the track and let me tell you guys this was just a hot mess like when i tell you that i was sewing clips on backwards like my thread was getting stuck like everything was going wrong when i was doing this project guys but i am done i finally have beautifully sewn in extension pieces so as you can see i'm still looking ratchet i'm gonna go ahead and quickly get myself together do my hair um, and try to install these bad boys and then and do you see my look what do you guys think this project took me a lot longer than i originally expected like i really thought this diy hair extension thing was going to be like an easy one two hour project when i tell you this has taken me all day from making my extensions to putting the clips on to doing my own hair and putting these in and getting it not even styled yet because the hair is still not even styled yet man this took all day for me but guys remember i'm not a beauty guru this was just a complete fail of a diy but it actually turned out pretty cute so i put them in and again the hair is not styled yet i'm gonna have to either throw some curls in or just make it straight when i decide to wear them which will probably be tomorrow but i mean i like it a lot it's really cute i feel super confident now that i have long hair again and i love the fact that i can just kind of put these in or take these out whenever i feel like it um, so yeah, I'm loving it. I will definitely show you guys a picture once I have it styled and have it cute. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my DIY hair extensions from a non-beauty guru to you to prove to you that you can do this yourself if you wanted to. It's not the easiest thing in the world, but it was also not the hardest thing in the world. Trust me, like if I can do it, you definitely can do it. I can't even put on lip liner straight so like it's totally cool like you guys got this i promise you but let me know how you like my look and if you like to see more videos like this make sure you let me know in the comments and of course make sure you subscribe to my channel peep the new channel name if you haven't seen it already and let me know your thoughts and i will see you next time